Hello everyone, how's it going? Billy Ballgame here, back with another video. On this channel, I'm just a dude who loves to talk about baseball cards. And today's video, there's going to be a lot going on. So I hope that it's not too long of a video and it doesn't drag out and I lose you all. But it's going to serve a few different purposes. So first, before I get digging in too deep, I wanted to give a shout out to my buddy Steven with a PH also known as rip fan eight i saw his video from his collaboration that he did with greg from midlife cards the other night and thought it was a, an awesome conversation and steven is such a good dude and his enthusiasm for the hobby is infectious so i wanted to shout steven out and and greg for having him on and just having such a great conversation also in my last video I missed a pickup I forgot to mention and this isn't a big deal but I just wanted to show it so I picked up a 60 tops Kurt Flood for the 60 set I saw this on eBay and uh, just thought it was really sharp and as you can see it's an SGC six and a half and it's just a, a really great looking card and I think altogether uh, with shipping and everything I'm about 17 twenty dollars somewhere around there into this card so i saw this pop up thought it was great didn't have one in my 60 set and went ahead and grabbed it so also i wanted to very quickly say rest in peace to dikembe mutombo i remember pulling his rookie card out of 90 what it what I think 92 upper deck basketball this was the first year that upper deck made basketball cards back then and I just remember thinking just what an awesome card this was um, when I pulled it out of a pack when I was a kid and it's not this same card but this is one I pulled out of my grading box so I loved uh, Dikembe Mutombo and just I was always a fan of centers for some reason and uh, he wasn't a, a tremendous offensive player, but one of really one of the best defensive players to ever play the game. And I just loved his uh, commercials where he would say, not in my house, <laughs> and, and swat the ball away in the commercial. So shout out to Dikembe Mutombo, rest in peace. He'd been battling brain cancer for a few years and finally uh, sir came to it yesterday, the same day that Pete Rose passed away. And you could tell for the last few years that Pete Rose was kind of heading downhill. He was 83 years old, so he lived a, a full life. Dikembe Mutombo, however, was 58. Uh, but I remember my earliest memory of Pete Rose, really, you know, where I knew what an impact he had on baseball, was when I grew up, we didn't have cable up until, like, I was in high school. So we just had, I think, five channels, or maybe four channels. But my fourth grade teacher was a huge Pete Rose and Cincinnati Reds fan. And she wheeled a TV into the classroom. Now, I was in fourth grade, so I can't remember if we were watching it live or if she had recorded it on a VCR and uh, played it for us in class and uh, whenever he broke Ty Cobb's record. So that was really one of my earliest memories of Pete Rose and just what a and realization that he was a huge, tremendously great baseball player. And so, you know, I was born in 75 and I don't remember what year he broke the record. Um, I know, I think it was maybe 85. So I was 10 years old and like I said, in fourth grade. So that makes sense. Um, so just again, one of my earliest memories of Charlie Hustle, rest in peace, and uh, maybe now he'll finally get into the Hall of Fame. But the main purpose of today's video was Brian from High Pop Professor, or The High Pop Professor, did a video the other day where he was showcasing some of his King Griffey Jr. cards and I commented on his video that he may have inspired me to show mine and 
I've shown some of them before, but I don't think I've ever had them all together in one video as far as his graded cards go. And I have a bunch of other ones pulled out. Like, these are all King Griffey Jr. cards in here. So I'm probably not going to go through this whole box because I don't want this to be an hour and 20 minute video. But I'll flip through it and show you the highlights of my non-graded cards along with my graded cards. And so before I do that, this is a stack of cards that I have that I'm going to pull out. Well, that I did pull out of my to grade box. So these are just cards that I don't have graded already of his or cards that may potentially be upgrades of cards that I already do have graded. And then I'll move if, if a card grades higher than what I already have, then I'll move the one I already have and, and keep the, the upgrade. Or if it keeps, if it's the same grade that I already have, then I'll keep the one in the SGC slab. But I've always liked these perennial all-stars cards. I have a couple of these because I've been looking for one that's good enough to get graded. And eventually what I may do is just buy one because I don't think these are, are too expensive. But, and a lot of these, I don't have too many of these from the late, from the mid to late 90s because I wasn't buying as many cards back then. So what you're going to see is a lot of stuff like this. So this is 91 tops. I don't have this card graded, so I'm hoping that I can send this in and get at least a 9 from it just to have one graded. I really like the pinnacle. I think this is, uh, is this 91? 92 pinnacle and this is one I pulled out of a pack when I was in high school and it, this car has been in a top loader since the day I've had it and it's in pretty good condition uh, I believe this is skybox emotion I have a couple of these again I'm just looking for one to grade in the nine range I was always a big fan of this card score made some awesome cards Back in 90, 91, 92, like these Coopertown, uh, this subset or insert set or whatever you want to call it. The Griffey's card, um, the bow breaker where he's breaking a bat over his knee. Like they just had some awesome cards back then. So this is actually a King Griffey Senior card with Junior on it. And I've just, I've always been a huge fan of this card from 89 Bowman. Here's an 89 tops update. I have this in a nine, but again, if this grades in the nine range, and it may be a little bit more off center left to right, um, I will keep it in the SGC slab and, and move the one I have in a PSA slab. Here are a couple 91 all-star cards. If I'm not mistaken, this is his first all-star game. I can't remember if he made it in 90. And then here's his upper deck rookie. This came out of a set that I bought from my buddy Tom. And I have a PSA 9 that I'll show you in a bit. But if I can get this graded in an SGC 9, then I'll keep the SGC 9 and move the PSA 9. So these are the ones I have already identified for grading at some point. And it's just a matter of when I get to it because I haven't graded cards in a long time. Um, so I'm hoping once I figure out if I'm going to go to Strongsville or not, like if my schedule is not going to line up to go to Strongsville, then I'll probably just start getting some cards graded and maybe not go to a show this year. I, I don't know because I have a huge stack of cards I want to get graded. So this first stack is uh, his non-rookie year cards. And, and Brian, High Pop Professor, had a lot of cool, like, mid to late 90s inserts and stuff like that. Like, you're not going to find these in here. Like, I don't have a lot of these graded. I do have some that I think are, are pretty cool insert cards that I'll show you guys. Here's a 1990 Tops, his uh, All-Star Rookie Cup, or his All Tops, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> his All-Rookie card. 1990 score, 
and most of these are in nines and they, they don't have a lot of value to them but to me they're just cool cards and and just part of my childhood because i've loved king griffey jr since 1989 so here's one i bought off of ebay and didn't realize it had the wrong flip in it so i don't know if this is actually supposed to be a nine or not uh, but i just saw the card and thought it was in really good shape saw that it was a nine and went ahead and bought it i didn't even realize the flip was wrong so i i probably won't ever even mess with it but i know i know a lot of people don't like 1990 donruss but man i ripped a whole lot of those when i was a kid so to me they're still cool here's the tops power brokers king griffey jr in an eight i have the refractor that i'll show you in a bit i bought this one ungraded off of ebay to go with the refractor and maybe i'll show you again whenever i pull the other one out but this one is cut a little bit different, I think, along one of these edges up here. And I think it wasn't cut correctly, and that's why this one graded an 8. Here's a 94 Tops Black Gold. I just remember how cool these were when they came out. This is one I, I believe that I got raw off of eBay and graded. Here's his... Fleer Pro Visions. I've just always been a, a big fan of these cards. I think these were like the coolest subset cards that had come out up to this point, at least from the Junk Wax era anyway. And I've just always loved this card. Here's one I bought off of eBay. 1994 Bowen's Best. King Griffey Jr. I just think it's a nice looking card. Didn't have it because I couldn't afford a lot of the higher end you know tops finest tops chrome bowman's best that type of stuff so big fan of that and here's one that was huge for me when i was a kid that i had ungraded and again with so many of my cards it got really beat up in my binder so this is one i bought off ebay a few years ago really cheap and i just i love the image in that card So here's a 93 Tops Gold, King Griffey Jr. I bought this ungraded off of eBay with the Tops Black Gold and sent them both in. The Tops Black Gold got a 9. This one got a 9.5. Super cool card. So here's the Power Brokers Refractor. And I'm pretty sure I, I either got this out of a pack in 99 because i would buy blaster boxes or yeah blaster boxes once or twice a year and rip them and i can't remember if this actually came out of a blaster box or if i bought it at a card shop down in south carolina back then but i've i've had this card in my collection ungraded like forever and then i finally sent it in to get graded but you can see up the edge the top edge here I think it's on this side, like this one in a nine is cut much better than this one in an eight. So I think that's why the refractor got a nine. And this is a great looking card, die cut, refractor got a nine and then this one got an eight. But I just, I think they look really cool together. Here's his 91 score Rifleman. Rifleman, and I this is another one of those early score subsets that I just think are amazing. Here's his Dream Team card. I've always been a huge fan of this one. Uh, this one came out of a, a set that I bought. I think I paid like 15 bucks for the set. And uh, ripped it and pulled a bunch of cards out and set this one in. I still have a bunch of them out of that set that I want to get graded that I just haven't done yet. And then here is his uh, Major League debut. This was another cheap purchase off of eBay. I think I paid about 20 bucks for this. But I think all these cards look great in the SGC slabs. So here are, are his air quotes rookie cards, and some of them are not rookie cards. They're just rookie year cards, so to speak. So here's his orange classic. This was super cheap off of eBay. Again, most of these are nines. 
This is, as I've talked about before, one of the first graded cards I ever got in my collection. I bought it at the at the card shop in Colorado. And back then I was buying almost exclusively hockey. But I saw this in his case and it was like 15 bucks and I went ahead and bought it. And I can't remember, this was like the first, second, or third graded card that I added to my collection in like 2000 seven somewhere around there Don Russ baseball's best never had this because you had to buy a whole set to get it and I could never find them and probably couldn't have afforded it even if I could find them back then 89 tops traded so this one I bought really closely to the same time as this one and I just don't remember which one I had first. But these were two of my earliest graded cards. Here's this Fleer. Bought this one pre-pandemic. Again for really cheap I think 15-20 bucks off of eBay. Here's his upper deck. This is the second one of these I've had graded. I told the story about how I traded one at a show in Columbia. And uh, I will never have this card ever again. I will never not have this card graded ever again. Unless it's an upgrade from this. Like I could see maybe buying a score. And it's, or not a score. Uh, an SGC in a 10. Because it's like five, 600 bucks. I couldn't see paying... 1500 for this in a 10 knowing how many of these were printed because there were just so many of them but i love this card it's one of my favorite if not my favorite card of all time here's my 89 donruss king griffey jr again i'm a huge fan of this like i remember vividly the first one of these that i pulled out of a pack when i was a kid like i would have been 13 and wouldn't have turned 14 until that fall but I've always been a huge fan of that card as well. And I had pretty good luck with cards, like pulling cards out of packs. Like we didn't buy a lot of Bowman, but I pulled one, a, a rookie out of Bowman. And we didn't buy very many upper deck, but I, I pulled one out of upper deck too. Um, but I have a few of these. I don't think I have any of the ones left from my childhood, unfortunately. But I don't know where they would have gone because I didn't sell too many King Griffey Jr. cards back then. So I don't know if it was just so beat that I threw it away when I organized my collection once we moved it back to Missouri. Here's his uh, Don Russ the Rookies. Again, another one I bought off of eBay. Quite a while again, or quite a while ago. I've always been a, a big fan of this card as well. Here is his score, Young Superstars. This was, again, another, I don't remember, $10, $15 purchase off eBay. First one of these I ever owned. And here is his score masters. All of these are from 89. So, again, just super cool card. As you all know, I love King Griffey Jr. There are a few of his rookie year cards or his rookie cards that I don't have like I need to get his mother's cookies um, there are four of those um, I had his uh, his candy bar in the white wrapper and or no the yellow wrapper and the blue wrapper but they were stored in our attic in our house in Columbia and they were still had the chocolate inside of them so needless to say they did not do well. So I would like to also buy those graded. And there's a white wrapper of that one as well. So I'd like to get all three of those. And then I'm sure there are some different ones here and there from his rookie year that, that I don't have. But those are the main ones that I can think of that I would like to pick up and add. So let me see. I have some pretty cool cards in this box. I just don't remember what all is in, in there. And so I'll kind of just flip through it and show you the highlights. Here's another baseball's best. 
Sorry, I'm getting the hiccups. Here's another baseball's best. I think maybe Adam from Oregon sent this to me. And then out of the 93 box that I opened up not too long ago, I got a couple of his, his all-star cards with Andy Van Slyke. Here are a couple of 92 Donruss. 91 Fleer with Barry Bonds. This is a great card if I could ever find one that's centered. I would like to get one of those graded if I could ever get a hold of one that's centered well enough. Here's a Donruss All-Star. Always a huge fan of this card. Is that Andy Van Slyke on the back? Yeah. Yeah, big fan of that card. Here's a Fleer Ultra um, Top Glove. King Griffey Jr. was always a big fan of this card as well. And some of these I still might get graded. I just need to go through them and evaluate them. But I always thought these sunglasses on top of his hat were so insane and futuristic looking back then. And Fleer Ultra, they're another set that always had great inserts. This is a Leaf Limited, I believe. Super cool. I don't know if this is the gold or, or which one it is. I'd have to put my glasses on to figure it out. Here's a Fleer Ultra Checklist. <clears throat> and I have some cooler cards in here, but like I said, it, it's all just in this box for now in, in uh, top loaders until I figure out what I'm going to grade and what I'm not. And I have a lot of dupes. Was always a big fan of this card too. I bought a couple of these off of eBay looking for one to get graded and every time I buy one I find something wrong with it. So here's the all-star, the big head cards. Was a huge fan of these. Here's a newer one. Loved this card too when I was a kid. Just the multiple exposure photos. Upper Deck always did a really good job with those. Here is the Griffies. Was always a huge fan of that card. Here's some more Upper Deck. Here's another multiple exposure. Here's a Topps Kids. 91 Donruss, I won't show you that. Collector's Choice. Here's a Fleer Ultra, 94, I think. 92 Score. Another Big Head, another Checklist, another 92 Donruss. <clears throat> More of the Griffies. Here's a Leaf. Here's another more recent card. This is a Mojo Prism or whatever it is, box topper. Or not box topper, but silver pack card, I think. At the break, on deck with Ken Griffey Jr. I always just loved this picture. I always thought this was a great card. Studio. For some reason, I always loved these cards. Playing card cards. So I have several of these different you know one i think he's like the king of clubs or something or i don't remember jack of clubs maybe more, another more recent tops gallery another upper deck here's a cool one i might have to put my glasses on real quick <laughs> bear with me i'm about to turn 49 so i'm pretty close to 50 my like my birthday is coming up very very soon it's a 97 Fleer Ultra. And this might have been a gift from Adam from Oregon as well. 93 Ultra. Future Heroes Gold Signature. Super cool. 93 Score Select. I always loved this set. Here's another one of the Fleer All-Stars. Here's uh, the Franchise. Huge fan of that card as well. 
really, to be honest with you, I've never seen a King Griffey Jr. card that I didn't like. Here's uh, another Future Heroes gold signature. Statitude, Upper Deck. It's a cool card. Another playing card. Clear Ultra. This one might have come out of the basement collection, actually. Another All Star card. This is Ken Senior with Griffey. I always just thought this was a cool card, and I always I have several of them. Here's another year of those playing cards. Jack of Spades. Here's Queen of Clubs. Ninety one Classic. <laughs> Three in a row of those. Clear Ultra Award winners. Super card, cool card there. Pinnacle Swingman. I always love this card too. Brian showed some of the, the Dufex cards in his video. And I love those. I don't own any of them. But I'm probably going to have to change that here within the next year or two. Here's a 70th anniversary. King Griffey Jr. More recent. Another four of clubs. Here, these are cool cards. If you can find these in high grades, there's a lot of value to these. This is the, the fifth year anniversary of Upper Deck, and they had a, I don't know, a 10 or 12 card set in these. And I have a couple of these. I would like to find one good enough to grade. This one I actually traded with a buddy of my little brother's when I was in high school. And have had it ever since. And it's got a couple touches on the corners. These are just really, really tough. Because obviously the black borders and stuff. But supposedly there were only, I think, 5,000 of those made. Which back then was a low, <clears throat> was a low number. Here's the collector's choice. What's the call? I have one of those graded. I can't remember if I showed it. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I do. I didn't get it out, though. Here's the uh, his game promo card. I'd like to find one of these nice enough to get graded as well. This was pushing about $1,000 at one point for a 10. But I like this card a lot. I had that game when I was in the Air Force and I don't know what happened to the original card. 1990 Leaf. This will be one that I send in. I can't remember. I have one of these that I have identified to send in at some point. Here's a, another more recent one. Checklist. Diamond Skills. Another more recent, this is an 84 parallel from 2019. I was buying a lot of packs, ripping a lot of packs in 2019. Here's a couple more all-star rookies. 90 Donruss, 90 Bowman. Another King Griffey Jr. Barry Bonds. This one's a little better centered, but they're always off. Here's a starting lineups card. Upper deck. I don't remember what Looney Tunes or something. I don't remember what set this is out of, but another big head all-star card. Here's a Griffey's. This one I've had since I was in high school. This one's pretty rough. I have a better one in here somewhere. This one I've had since I was in high school, too. You can see the, the corners are a little banged up. Donruss triple play. Another 90 score. Another 92 score. Another 93 select. I love these cards, too. Reggie Jackson's Clutch Performers. Awesome card there. This year of Upper Deck back then had so many awesome insert cards. Another silver signature. 
or another uh, home run future heroes gold signature maybe those were all gold signatures I don't know because every one I've got has a gold signature on it but I'm pretty sure I have a silver signature in here somewhere another on deck Pacific Prisms, I remember these were way cool back in the day. I remember these were worth like 20 bucks <laughs> way back when. Here's a Home Run All-Stars, Collector's Choice. I love this card too. Upper Deck got really good with the hol holograms. I don't know why I have a hard time saying that word there for a while. If I can get it to focus and you can actually see the hologram. Big fan of those cards. I have some cooler cards in here that I'm trying to find to show you all. So this one's a little better version of the Barry Bonds and Kigraphy Jr. That one's pretty well centered up. I'll have to check that one out. 93 Pinnacle. Fleer Ultra All-Stars. Loved this card. Uh, 92 Tops. Just a great photo there, I think. Collector's Choice Checklist. A really off-centered, miscut Pinnacle Slugfest. Like you can see the bottom of the other card down there. Checklists. Here's one that was like out of a magazine. And another one out of a Tops magazine. I think this is Donruss Limited Edition. Dig that card. Sorry, kids are running around upstairs. They haven't been home from school very long. They're pretty fired up. 92 Fleer. Another Pro Visions. Huge fan of this card. Always have been. 94 Upper Deck. So here's a little cooler one. Metal Universe. Magnetic Field. I bought this one off of eBay a few years ago. I'll probably get this grade at some point. This one's a really cool card. It looks super cool up close. Just the, it's almost got the Pacific Prisms little circle refractor-ish action on it. I don't know how to explain it, but it's a super cool card. Rifleman Provisions Collecta Books. Once upon a time, I had this whole set. I still may have it hiding somewhere. But mine was beat up from high school. This, I think, was a gift from Adam from Oregon. Uh, mine in high school was beat up because I, I'm pretty sure I shoved it into a regular top loader. And these are pretty thick. Here's a couple Donruss Diamond Kings that I've had since I was in high school. I can tell because they're all beat up. This is uh, 95 Upper Deck. Stadium Club from 94. Big Head, 91 Fleer, 92 Tops. 93 Tops, sorry. Another King Griffey Jr. Power Brokers. Huge fan of that card. Fleer Tradition, Golden Memories. This was definitely a gift from Adam from Oregon. Super cool card also. A couple 90 scores. Here's his Bowman Foil from 93. Love that card too. I'm trying to see what I haven't shown you yet because a lot of these are doubles. Let me fix my pile here so it doesn't fall over. Pacific Revolution, 99. So there was a point in time when I got out of the Air Force in 99 that I got into it again for maybe a year with my uncle and was buying quite a bit of stuff back then. 
but these cards were super cool. J.D. Drew's rookie card and Chris An uh, Rick Ankiel's rookie cards were in this set, so I was ripping a lot of packs looking for those. King Griffey Jr., Measures of Greatness. This is uh, 92 Pinnacle Idols with Ricky Henderson on it. And that might be a card that I pulled out of a pack. I can't remember. Stadium Club, Dugout Dirt. Here's an All-Star Game card from 2000. Stadium Club Member's Choice from 92, it looks like. Big fan of that card. Let me just say that I'm pretty much a big fan of all these cards. 93 Stadium Club. All right, just a couple stacks left, maybe a half a row or something. Here's another member's choice. Different year, though. This is 93. Don Russ All Stars. And a lot of these, again, have little to no value. Even in the 10, a lot of them are going to be $20, $30 cards. But I just think they're cool. Classic, King Griffey Jr. I don't know what year this one's from. 93. Ninety Fleer, King Griffey Jr. was a huge fan of this card too, but really this is probably one of the worst sets ever made. <laughs> uh, Ninety and ninety one, ninety two Fleer were pretty bad. Another big head. This was out of a Mariners team set that I bought. Stadium Club. Here's uh, another starting lineup card. This was kind of a knockoff oddball card. I don't know if any of you have seen that before. This one is a limited edition. This one is number 4628. I've just I've always had this, have no idea where it came from. I think I I think uh, I traded for this with a buddy of mine back when I was in high school. More provisions, more 90s, Fleer. Here's a 92 classic. And I promise you there's some better cards in here. Not Maybe not better, but cooler cards. I just don't know where they're at, but they're in this stack somewhere. I think this came out of one of the price guides. Here's a 94 tops. So this is a super cool one. Top Stadium Club Power Zone from 95 or 96, I think. Super cool card. I bought this on eBay. I kind of had a bidding war for it. I ended up paying, I think, 30 or 35 bucks for this. Um, this will be one I get graded at some point, but it's just a super cool card. Love the effects in the background of, of this card. I don't know what kind of value it's got, graded in the 8 or 9 range, but I'd never seen it before and thought it was super cool and, and had to have it. Collector's Choice, great photo there. More recent, that's 2020, I believe. Here's a Pacific... Huge fan of this one too, Pacific Sock Exchange. I was a huge fan of Jay Buhner back in the day too. And uh, Kevin Mitchell, yeah. 91 Donruss MVP. 93 Donruss. This is a Hostess card. Ninety four tops all stars, King Griffey Jr. and Barry Bonds. 
Super cool card. That one looks to be in pretty good condition. Here's another 91 Stadium Club. Fleer Tradition. Going Yard. King Griffey Jr. I hope this isn't too boring, guys. <laughs> but I love King Griffey Jr. What can I say? So Brian inspired me to pull them all out and show them to you all. Triple Play. Studio. Can't remember if I showed that one or not. The franchise, the Griffies love this card. Another big head. Here's a 90 classic. I think those you've seen. 91 classic. Another on deck with King Griffey Jr. Some of these are actually in pretty good condition. Rifleman, 91 upper deck, another all-star. Here's a newer one, franchise feats. More Donruss Diamond Kings. More 90 Donruss. Here's a 1990 classic. This is another like oddball unlicensed card arena holograms from 92 holograms why do i struggle with that word so much but it's hard to get the image to show up on here let's see 93 leaf love the back on that one 93 ultra 90 upper deck, another fifth anniversary. This one's a little rougher than the other one I showed. All right, almost done. This stack and one more, and then we're done. Upper deck, holographics. I don't remember what year this is from. 99. Super cool card there. This is one of my only King Griffey Jr. with the Reds cards that I have. This was a gift from Adam from Oregon. 1996 Pinnacle. Prime Performers. King Griffey Jr., another card with the Reds. Here's a uh, Topps Chrome. Reprint of his 89 Topps Traded. Here's a uh, Topps Milestones. This one's numbered. This is from 2007. This is numbered 105 out of 150. This was from Adam from Oregon, I believe. Here's another couple more 89 Fleer. Big stack of uh, <laughs> big stack of 89 Donruss. A lot of these I got from my buddy Adam from Oregon. And not Adam Vintage Sanctuary Adam. I've been asked about that from a few different people. I really would like to just buy a case of 89 Upper Deck one of these days and, and see if I can't pull a 10 out of there because I, I don't want to pay $300 or $350 to get a 10. Here's a, I don't know what this is, Mega Cards. This is Cooperstown Collection with Babe Ruth. Kind of a cool card. Never seen that one before. Let's see more classics. 90 and 91 classics these i got off of my buddy dan um in maine i bought a bunch of his old classic sets off of him so we're closing in on 45 minutes <laughs> i'm sure no none of you are still with me but oh well 
I'll just talk to the camera myself and flip through the cards. That's fine too. Here's a tombstone. That came from Dan or Adam. I can't remember who this came from. I had never seen this one before. That's pretty cool too. From 94. Tombstone Pizza. Here's a 94 Fleer. Here's a 92 Fleer All Stars. Bazooka Shining Stars from 90. This is a, uh, let's see, Upper Deck 2001. Upper Deck Vintage, I think it says. Yeah. With the Reds. So I think I have three cards of him with the Reds. Here's another Upper Deck from 97, it looks like. Score checklist. Oh, here's my fourth King Griffey Jr. in the Reds uniform. 2001 Upper Deck, 97 score, ninety four Upper Deck, love this subset, future is now. I have an electric diamond of that somewhere around here. Fleer Tradition, League Leaders. Collector's Choice Star Quest. This is Upper Deck. Um, I'm not sure. AR99 Special Report. I think this came from Adam from Oregon. Super cool card there. Opening Season Superstars. Retail Predictor, Upper Deck, King Griffey Jr. So a lot of these later cards, like late 90s, um, a lot of these came from Adam. Donruss, 96 Donruss. Ultra Checklist. Another Donruss. Tops Fire. 2016. Here's a Tops Technical Merits from 2000. Super cool card here. It's got the refractor front and back, and it's uh, acetate. So you, you can see through it, part of it. Very cool. Exponential Upper Deck XP. So, shoot, I have five or six Carrier Junior cards in Reds uniforms now. That's a cool card. This one came out of a magazine or a price guide, I'm pretty sure. Score, 94 score sample. Postseason Glory, Fleer 96. Another collector's book or collect of books. This one's in much better condition than the one I had from my childhood. Top's Finest. Oh, let me drop it on the floor. Top's Finest war Warriors, Warriors, English is hard. And then here's a Pacific collection from 1996. So that is a whole lot of King Griffey Jr. cards. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks again, Brian, for providing me the inspiration to do this video and to fish all these things out. I hope I didn't bore you, bore you all to death and put you to sleep because this is going to be like a 50 minute video, which is the longest video I've done on my channel up to this point. But I just realized it had been a while since I just grabbed a bunch of cards and talked about cards. So 
a lot of them here recently. I've been using StreamYard and pulling up VCP and like all that kind of requires some forethought and uh, a little bit of work. So this video, I was just able to, to pull out a couple stacks of cards and, and show them to you all. So I hope you enjoyed it. Again, rest in peace, Pete Rose and Dikembe Mutombo. And then also Frank from American Pickers, unfortunately, passed away today also. So these things usually come in threes. So I knew there was probably going to be another one coming pretty soon, and it was Frank. So that's unfortunate. But anyway, I don't want to make this video a downer. So um, I guess I'll wrap it up with that. So again, I just hit 1,285 subscribers today. So I'm 15 away from 1300 so if you're still with me and you're not already subscribed if you would do so that would be amazing and uh give this video a like if you would so once again shout out to my buddy steven with a ph aka rip fan eight so i appreciate everyone's support and i'll wrap it up with that so until the next one i hope everybody has a good one and i'll talk to you later